Are those the answers on the back? Because you're gonna have to kind of shield that. Yeah. You can read this. Sort of. If you can, if you can read this from there, the you first, deserve all of the points. Does the first word say "run"? No. The first word says "true." Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. okay. That, I really can't. I, I, I will cover up the card. But just but, in case, yeah. But there is a question. Well, let's wait. Don't don't tease us. <laughs> Let me just make a statement real quick. I watched ten Friday the Thirteenth movies, all of them. I, I've seen the 2013 remake and Freddy vs. Jason a long time ago separately, but that doesn't count. Right. The Friday the 13th. Why didn't you talk about Freddy vs. Jason and the reboot? We will. We will someday. Eventually. But I watched uh, the eight Friday the 13th movies plus the two extra Jason movies, uh, all of them recently, and I, I have no knowledge of anything. Do you remember the part when Jason was chasing that character through the woods? <laughs> Or the other character was calling out a different character's name. Yeah, and they wandered around for 15 I, minutes. I, I think this might be our worst video ever because I don't think we can answer any question. Or at least I can't. I won't be able to answer any question. If their character name, based on their character names, I'm out too. So we'll see what happens. I have no idea how they filled that box up with questions. I really don't. Some folks have a strange idea entertainment. And there is a random Freddy versus Jason side on the die. And if you I, land on that. We're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna ignore it. Okay. People thought I cheated in the last one because I rolled twice. You yeah. see me roll twice in the video. That was because it landed on the Freddy versus Jason. We redid side. that. I, I thought I edited that out. Did I edit that? <laughs> I don't remember anything. See, a die has six sides, and there are five uh, difficulty levels. So yeah. there's a, a sixth S one. There's yeah. something related to the board game that we're not actually playing. Right. We're just using the trivia cards. Well, yeah, well, this is just a test of uh, uh, how much our brains have rotted mm. from drugs and alcohol. Let's begin. How many questions am I asking you? Are we, are we going to I a certain number? I don't know. We're winging this like we did last time. <laughs> we're going to get a point per question, and then once we get tired of doing this, then we're going to say it's the final question. Then you roll it, from what I recall. You rolled the final question. Oh, yes. Based on, and then we had was to, uh, a final Jeopardy situation where we decided how many points we wanted to bet. Both of us went all in. And, uh, uh, you know. One of us won. <laughs> I won Freddy Jeopardy versus Jay! <laughs> on a blind guess. All because of one question. <laughs> I got a one. All right. You got a one. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, That's the true one. You, you, yeah, you, it's the true one. So I'm gonna find a different card for you. Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> During which season was season? Okay. During which season was Friday the Thirteenth Part uh, Seven: The New Blood shot? Oh. Okay. Like like fall, fall spring summer. Yeah okay. yeah yeah. The New Blood. Uh, I'm gonna say fall. Because I remember leaves. Winter. Oh. You failed. Well, that's winter in California. That's different. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that one was shot in California, though. What do you want out of me? You got the question wrong. <laughs> okay, I'll, that's fair. Four. Okay, I'm gonna use the same card. We should roll a different number. In Friday the 13th, part seven, The New Blood, uh -huh. what story did Eddie pitch to Tina at the party? Oh, like, Look at the answer and tell me if it's like a specific title. Or... That's a little too far. You're taking this too all right, far. All right. Well, I know. I know he wrote sci-fi, so I guess I'm going to say oh. sci-fi. Can you be more specific than that? Science fiction. It's Starlacon. Oh. I... Yeah, that's his book. Okay. Yeah, it wanted super specific. That's... They wanted super specific. Oh, Jay, I'm sorry. We're in so much trouble. <laughs> okay. We, we've we've uh, already hit a rule change. <laughs> Whoever gets any question right wins the game. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right, sure, why not? I don't care. <laughs> Three. Three. Which actress in Friday the 13th part five, A New Beginning, shares the same last name as Jason? Oh yes, oh God. Um, I, well, clearly the last name is Voorhees. I think it's like, it was like something with an A, like Angela? Debbie Sue. <laughs> you're, you're all whiffing here. Uh, three. Which was the only Friday the 13th movie to feature actual children at a camp? Oh, that's six. Uh, the uh, Jason Lives. Yes, yes it is. 
That was pretty easy. Jay. Did I win the game? Has won the game according <laughs> okay. to the rules that Mike thanks, has just come up well, with. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> How about if Mike gets one right, he wins the game? <laughs> and Jay has to get 10 right. Wow. Woo, a well, one. Oh, okay. How soon after Friday the 13th Part 3 did Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter, take place? Uh, oh, th was three the um, the camp with like the troubled teens? No. Three was what? Three oh. was the barn. Three was the barn. Okay, I think it was like two years. It is the same night. <sighs> <laughs> there was one where it's a two year span. Four. And Friday the 13th, part seven, The New Blood, who did Melissa seduce in an attempt to make Nick jealous? Oh, God. They want a character name? They want a character name. Now, is, it, is it more or less fun if they have multiple choices and I read them all? I think the only way I'm going to get this is with a multiple choice. Yeah, if it has multiple choice, it's fair to read them. Okay. Uh, I Russell. Did that for me later. In case I get a multiple <laughs> choice later, I did that for me, not for you. Okay. Russell, Dan, Eddie, or Ben? Oh, God. I'm gonna say Eddie. Eddie! Oh! Eddie, Jay, you're, you're, you're smoking Mike right now. I know so much about this franchise. Oh, come on. At least I gave you a chance. Four. How many children has Jason slain throughout the Friday the 13th series? Now there's multiple choice. Zero. Zero, one, Two or four? I, I'm gonna have to say zero because I think they're making you think it takes place at a summer camp and, um, uh, but wait, there's the one movie with the kids, but none of the kids died. I'm gonna go with zero. Is that your final answer? Yes. It's zero. Yes! <laughs> Two. Where did the climatic showdown of Friday the 13th Part 5, The New Beginning, take place? The dining room. The woods, the barn, <laughs> or the main road? Barn. Uh, it's the barn. It's the barn. I know that one. Because that's the one that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In Friday the 13th, part seven, the new blood. A lot of new blood. A lot of new blood. <clears throat> what did Dan say to Judy before he went to chop wood? <laughs> Nothing. I'll be back. <laughs> Keep the sleeping bag warm. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Those are all good, uh, uh, good possibilities. I think he says, why am I doing this? I remember him being kind of sarcastic. I think it's that. I'll be back. Fuck! I'll be back. <laughs> My second guess was to keep the sleeping bag warm. Yeah. So Keep it warm. I was doing Six. Yes. Six? Yeah. There's no six. Or five, I mean, sorry. Okay. Uh, how old was uh, Shavar Rose, who played Reggie, when Friday the 13th, part five, The New Beginning, was released? Oh my God, well get your ass in here, boy! 10, 12, 13, or 14? He's a little kid in the red hoodie. I'm gonna guess 12. 14. Really? Oh. I know that. You didn't know that. That's a lie. Five, so that's so one. You probably just, just. Who played Jason in oh. Friday the 13th? Ken. Oh. Kisling? Wait, wait, Friday the 13th, the first one? It just says Friday the okay, 13th. Okay. Well, that would be the only one because this doesn't have the remake, so. Kane Hodder, Ari Lehman, Richard Booker, or Ken Kirzinger? Does that mean the round is over? If I can give you a hint, no. I think he was at your, your famous Arizona con. Little Jason was there. Young Jason was there. He played the piano. Mm -hmm. during Who the... was in the first Friday the 13th? Only young Jason. But, but, oh. Oh, you're right. Thank you for that. His name is Ari something, right? Yeah, uh, uh, the Ari name. Uh, yes, it's the Ari name. Do I get that point? <laughs>
Thanks. <laughs> I'm thinking of a hulking monster, Jason. You forgot. You forgot. Yes. He's not yes, in the first you're movie. right. I was going to just randomly pick someone who wasn't Kane Hodder. <laughs> but Jay helped me out. That was very kind yeah. of him. Yeah. Did you mark that? I did mark. You just marked it. Did you, you got mark two? it for me? <laughs> I marked it for Mike. I'm it's okay. your choice if you want to help or not. I mean, right. yeah, that was on you, Jay. I, oh, I know. Uh, three. Three. All right. Um, what planet did Jason land on at the end of Jason X? Oh. Uh, Earth 2. Wrong! New Earth. It's Earth 2. Oh! What is it? It's <laughs> Earth 2. I thought it was New Earth. No, it's Earth 2. Because they have that mo- that show called Earth 2. Oh, I don't know. Is, and that, I, is that a spinoff of Jason no, X? No, it has nothing to do with it. I think it was like a science fiction book or something. And I, and I thought, oh, that's almost like that. Mm. Uh, I guess I misremembered. By the way, I'm going to go on record as Two. saying that Jason X is the best Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Unironically. It's in one of my top 10 films of all time. <laughs> I knew you would love it. <laughs> I, 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 I knew it. All right, what'd you get? Two. Two. Which legendary rocker recorded He's Back, The Man Behind the Mask, the theme song for Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood? I'm not even going to read the multiple choice. Alice Cooper. Yeah. That's I, I didn't actually, look at the answer, and I know that. Does it say for part seven, the new blood? Because if that's the yes. case, the card, I mean, you, it is Alice Cooper, but he did the songs for part six, not part seven. This game is bullshit. I think this might have been a quickly slapped together game to try and capitalize on Freddy versus Jason. Someone didn't do their research. Yeah, it says the new blood. This is ah, bullshit. Damn, I got another one right! <laughs> What's the score? Can you keep us updated? Oh, yeah. You have two, Jay has four. Okay, not bad. That's not bad. One. All right, one. Uh, what sound was heard whenever Jason was looming? <laughs> Does it mean the ch 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 ma ma ma? <laughs> uh, yeah, I hear. I'll, 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 read you the, I'll read you the options. Okay. <laughs> cha cha shi shi. <laughs> ma ma ki ki. Ha ha ki ki, sha sha ma ma. <laughs> Those are the optional choices you have. They're all wrong. It's ki ki ki, ma ma ma. Go because, with the one with the ma ma. Well, it's, 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 yeah, if you reverse them, that's the answer on the card. But this game is bullshit. They're getting everything wrong. I know. It's, I always thought it was kill, 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 die, die, die. Kill, kill. I think that's kind of like what people interpret it yeah, as. But in the original, it's kill, 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 ma, 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 yeah. mom, mommy, Jason's Because Jason's mom is saying, yeah. kill her, mommy. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where it comes from. But it was so like, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you the point, Jay. It's ma, ma, ki, ki. Yeah, yeah, he could get the point on that. Three. Three. According to the film's credits, which two roles did Kane Hodder play in Jason X? Mm, mm, okay. Uh, oh. Jason X. Yeah, yeah, that's not the one where he was the... Oh, that's in the beginning. Yes. He pl- No, that's the morgue. When he's the morgue guard. You want nothing but a big old pussy anyway. That's the, that's the one with the magic dagger. Yes. Wait, wait. So Jason in space starts off with um, the Camp Crystal Lake uh, research facility, right? Yes. And then he ends up getting frozen, and then he goes in the spaceship... And then there's no really big guys on the spaceship. I'm going to guess it must be one of the, like, no, it couldn't be one of the soldiers because he's, like, killing them all. Ooh, this is a tough one because I can't picture a man of his stature and size in any other role in that movie. <laughs> oh, he must have played... No? <laughs> they When they're on the holodeck... Early on, they fight like like CGI like goblins. Yeah. So he couldn't have. I thought it was maybe a big guy in a costume they fought. I'm gonna say, well, okay. Other than Jason, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna say some kind of like soldier, like a. Uh, is that your answer? Yeah. Okay. The answer is Jason, and no, Uber Jason. <laughs> no, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is how he's credited at the end of the movie. It's, Jason and Uber it's, Jason. It says Jason and Uber Jason. Even Uber though it's Jason. still the same Jason. Oh, that's a trick question. That is the way he's listed in the credits, though, because I remember mentioning it in our discussion. It was like, that's weird. 
Yes, it might not have been in the final right. discussion, but I mean, his head got blown clean off. He, he and was an basically an entirely new head. He grows. was, he was rebuilt He's from basically scratch. Basically, a new a person. New, okay, I'll, 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 okay, it's a gray area. <laughs> yeah, but I agree. I still, it's weird, but I still, uh, I still want to put a little asterisk next to that as being. But you did remember that he had a second role in nine. As yeah, the yeah, security yeah, guard. yeah. Unfortunately, that wasn't what the question was about. <laughs> Two. Two. Which famed child actor played Tommy Jarvis in Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter? That would be our main man, Corey Feldman. Yes, Rock correct. and roll star extraordinaire. <laughs> Have you seen any of the recent videos of him in concert? No. Oh my God. But uh, you can show some clips here because it's related to the discussion that it's we're talking true. about. It's, it definitely falls under fair use, fair. so we can show him we're talking making a about, complete yeah. embarrassment of himself on stage. Corey Feldman's embarrassing music videos. I'm the comeback, comeback king. I am is it nothing? Corey Feldman's embarrassing live concerts. Start it over. Because he was in the Jason movies. Yeah. yeah. And, it is and we relevant. are referencing it. So it's, yeah, it's very relevant use, to this conversation. It's very used to use these clips. Yes, yes. We know the game, YouTube. On the same count, everybody. Really? <laughs> Take two. One. Who played Jason in Jason X? Kane Hodder. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> nice and easy. Am I catching up? Three to six. Like, we keep We're half and half, yeah. yeah. Three. In Jason X, who prevented Uber Jason from reaching the Tiamat? This is like gibberish. Um, is it multiple choice? Yes, it is. That's okay. that girl. Well, that's what I'm thinking, the, the robot lady. Uh, KM14. That's it. Rowan. Adrienne or Brodsky? I felt obligated to read them all to you. Your, your answer is KM14? Yes. Uh, Brodsky. Dr. Brodsky. Oh. I knew you were wrong. You did? That's that girl. That's that girl. Because the robot fought him and then got her head ripped off. And then when they're in the, like, the space pod, Somebody left. Oh, that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and He's the one that goes to Earth with him and, and yeah, burns up in the atmosphere. Yeah. He, okay. He's like, go without me. Because yeah, the yeah, robot yeah. had been defeated by that point. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the superior Jason. <laughs> Shit, five. Who wrote, Friday, who wrote the Friday the 13th Part 2 screenplay? Ron Kurz, Danny Cohen... Todd Farmer, Victor Miller. Miller. Ron Kurz. I wasn't gonna guess Ron Kurz. Yeah, nobody guesses Ron Kurz. <laughs> <laughs> One. Uh, the final chapter was also known as Friday the 13th part uh, four. Yes. Two. In which two Friday the 13th movies was Jason not the killer? Okay, Friday the 13th, part one, and Friday the 13th, part... Wait, okay, wait, hold on. Give me a minute here. Take your time. Two, Take your time. It was Jason. I, I know this one, like, legit. I, can't, I, I, I know, it's the one where... Oh, the five, fifth one is the dumb one with the ambulance driver. So it's number one and number five. Correct! Yeah. Five. Who wrote Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter? Is that a, was the other one the same question? No, no. No, that was, it oh, says that was part, two. part two. All right, um, Ron Kurz, Barney Cohen, Todd Farmer, or Victor Miller? I'm getting deja vu here. Well, I know it's not Victor Miller. I know it's not Todd Farmer. What are the other two? Ron Kurz and? Uh, read them all. Ron Kurz, Barney Cohen, Todd Farmer, Victor Miller. It's gotta be Barney. It's gotta be Barney Cohen. Your name is Barney, you wrote that. <laughs> that trash. It was. <laughs> was that right? It was Barney Cohen. Okay, you that was that process right. of elimination. Or, oh shit, a five. In Friday the 13th, what was the name of the cabin where the first group of kids stayed? Green, fox, red, or bear? 
Red seems like a trick because it's like blood. <laughs> I want to say it had an animal name like fox or bear. Uh, bear. Close. It was fox. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking bear too. I had to pick an animal. I knew it was an animal. I had a feeling about it. Four. Who directed Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter? Hmm. Joseph Zito, Danny Steinman, Tom McLaughlin, or Rob Hedden? Uh, Zito. Zito. Yep. I remember the director's names for some reason because I was kind of like keeping track. <laughs> I don't know why. Three. In which Friday the 13th film, did Jason trap a girl in her sleeping bag and then bash her <laughs> against a tree? Now it is multiple choice. Uh, part three, part two, part four, the final chapter, or part uh, seven, the new blood. I'm gonna say seven. Correct. Yes. Four. Okay, uh, four here. Uh, who directed Friday the 13th, part five? The, wait, did I just read that one? No, you did four. Oh my God. See, just like the movies, all the questions blend together. <laughs> all the questions are the same. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like the movies. It's amazing. Who the answer is Danny Steinem, or Steinman. Oh my God. Uh, uh, y yes, oh, yes, wow. you're right. There you go. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, uh, gentlemen, I am required to inform you as per the rules as written, you each have 10 questions remaining. Oh. Okay. Till the final question. Till the final question, yes. Okay. All right. All right, so I've, Who I've, made these rules? I don't know. The committee. The committee? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you guys aren't on it. I didn't know we had a committee. This is the first I, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, this yeah, is no, the first I, I, Jack, it, Josh, and me, we get together every Tuesday and we have our meetings. I've been running this company since 2004. I don't, I don't ever recall a committee. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to tell you, Mike. Okay, well, this is news to the me. The committee but says you have 10 more questions. Thank you. Okay, Thank okay. you. Um, okay, here we go. Three. In which Friday the 13th film did Jason decapitate three people with one fell swoop? Oh, I remember this. Oh, I know. That's what he's on the boat. And it happens on the boat. It's uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. That's not even one of the, I, that's not even one of the multiple choice answers <laughs> that well, I didn't have okay. a chance to read to you. Strike that, reverse it, give me the multiple choices. <laughs> this is cheating. You answered the question. <laughs> I didn't know it was a multiple choice. He's supposed to indicate that. Oh. I, you, you just you just interrupted me and started saying he was on a boat. I was so I confident. Didn't have time. I, I was so confident of my wrong answer. <laughs> I re, didn't that happen? <laughs> it did happen in one of the movies. Yes. Okay, go go go. <laughs> Two. Two, three, four, or six? Six. Yes. This was a more recent one when Jason was, was cool looking. It was the uh, the paintball Where? gun people. Remember that? The wacky paintball game? Okay, okay. Thanks, Rich. Inform us if it's a multiple choice you, for us. Well, don't jump in before I'm done explaining <laughs> the question. Five. Five. When was Jason born? June 13th, 1946, July 4th, 1956, September 13th, 1972, or October 31st, 1953. It would have to be 46. Yes, because that's, that's 13th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're all the 13th, but in the, the first movie, he died when he was a teenager. It was in the, that 50s. Was in the 50s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could, did you mark me for that uh, decapitation? I, I did. Okay. I did. <laughs> I know there, oh shit, uh, five. I know there's some controversy there. Uh, five. Who was Jason's father? Vance Voorhees, Jonathan Voorhees, Sufton Voorhees, or Elias Voorhees? Ooh, this is from the one with the magical dagger. Oh, you remember that much? Yeah. Wow. Because that's the familiar history. That's where they introduce yeah. all the I, family stuff. Yeah. I think it's uh, Elias pops out because yeah, correct. I'm, I'm about that. Yeah. That's pretty good. That was just like a one offhand line. Born in 1946 to Elias and Pamela Voorhees. Elias sounds like the name you would choose. That's true. Yeah. Exactly. That that's what yeah. I'm going on. Yeah. I, I remember them saying it. But You're not gonna go with Jonathan. Jonathan yeah. is yeah. That's the screenwriter brain part yeah. of my brain <laughs> that goes. That's a better sounding. 
Because Elias, you think like Creep, vaguely creepy, creepy old timey yes. religious yeah. nut. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's like a Mormon name, right? Elias. <laughs> I, or... don't, I don't know if it's specifically a Mormon name, but Elias. I don't know. It's an older name. Yeah. So you think yes, yes, weird culty stuff. I don't know something yeah. like that. Uh, for who directed Friday the Thirteenth Part? Eight. Our first eight question. Jason takes Manhattan. Joseph Zito, Danny Steinman, Tom McLaughlin, or Rob Hedden? Rob Hedden. Rob Hedden. He knows the directors. Yeah. Are you keeping track of how of what number we're on in terms of our last uh, ten? We just did. I think we just did two of them. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Do you have to check with the committee to make sure that's correct? Uh, yeah, I just check with the committee. Yeah, we just did. Yeah, okay. We definitely, oh, okay. Yeah. We definitely just did uh, two of the total. Tw yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. Kind of, kind of, it's maybe. fine. I'm on. It's fine. I'm on top of it. I didn't forget to keep track you have of like that. Like an earpiece with them. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're in an undisclosed oh, yeah, let location. Let me, let me put the side <laughs> of my head that's not on camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's definitely two down. Oh, okay. Five. Oof. Um. Who directed Jason X, <laughs> Joseph Zito, Danny Steinman, Jim Isaac, or Rob Hedden? Rob Hedden. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't catch the clue that the only name that was different from the last three times we had that question <laughs> was Jim Isaac? You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't catch on to that? Give me a break here. <laughs> uh, three. Okay. Um... What did Jason wear over his head during most of oh Friday the Thirteenth Part on. Two? That's a three. Part two. yeah. But I mean, that's a three in difficulty. That's he wears the the sack. Burlap yes, sack. that's the burlap sack. Yeah, this is ridiculous. That's like a number one question. No, that's something stupid people don't get. Don't Maybe yeah. yeah. Oh, the hockey man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. One. Which actor played Jason Voorhees in the most Friday the Thirteenth films? Jane Hodder? Yes. I have nothing to complain about with that particular question, okay? <laughs> you want nothing but a big old pussy anyway. Who played the older Tommy Jarvis in Friday the 13th, part five, the new beginning? Oh, part five. Curry Feldman, John Shepard, Tom Matthews, or Robert England? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> they of couldn't those. even come up with a good fourth one no, to they, throw you off. They couldn't. Uh, well, it's John Shepard then. Just by process of elimination. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Uh, the game is telling us something. Two. Who played Tina in Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood? Amy Steele, Carrie Keegan, Dana Kimmel, or Lar Park Lincoln? Ralph Wiggum? What did you say? <laughs> La Lar Park Lincoln. L A R P A R K L I N O. L I N C O L N. What films? Uh, the New Blood. Which is number what? Seven. Tina? Yes, who played Tina? <laughs> That's Tina. almost all the words. Right. The Give 13th. me all the names again. <laughs> okay, I'm going well, to do, do the whole question. I'm going to do the whole question. I know who played Tina. Okay. And okay. seven. Just give me the actress's name again. Amy Steele, Carrie Keegan, Dana Kimmel, Lar Park Lincoln. Can I ask Jay which one was Tina? Is that a, I guess the rule? Hey, you may you may do that. He's uh, not you know he can tell I, you whatever I'm not he wants. No obligation to help you, but I will say Tina is the psychic girl. Oh. Uh, Amy Steele. Lar Park Lincoln. I was gonna go with Lar Park Lincoln because it was a weird name. <laughs> then why didn't you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, four. Which Friday the Thirteenth Part f uh, Six Jason Lives actor? Also starred in the film Ghost, Tom Matthews, Patrick Swayze, Tony Goldwyn, or Amy Steele. Well, Amy Steele isn't in that one, so it's not her. Uh, it's not Amy Steele. It's not Tom. I'm assuming it's not Tom Matthews, and Patrick Swayze was not in part six, so it's got to be the other one. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the only one I didn't reference is no. Uh, Tony, Tony Goldwyn. Goldwyn. It's got to be Tony Goldwyn. Correct. We better turn around. Why? Because I've seen enough horror movies to know any weirdo wearing a mask is never friendly. Five. Which did actress Tracy Savage become after starring in Friday the 13th Part 3? A doctor, a nurse, a reporter, or a lawyer? Lawyer. Reporter. Why not? <laughs> 
you each only have uh, five, five left. Oh, okay. Or, well, I guess the next go around, yeah. You... Okay. So even if Jay loses every question, I still can't catch up to him. <laughs> Four. Um, in Friday the 13th, part nine, Jason goes to hell. Who played Steve Freeman? John DeLamay, Kane Hodder, Crispin Glover, or obviously Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just so bad. Uh, it's <laughs> you can rule out three out of the four. <laughs> it's John LeMay. Yes, it is. Who was also one of the leads. I know, Rich, you like the Friday the 13th series. Uh-huh. He's one of the main characters on that show, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> In what year did Jason X begin? Mm. 1910, oh. 2110. 2210 or 2010? It began in 2010. Correct. Because that's, oh. that's when they said. Oh, that's how they gave themselves wiggle room for movies to take place yes. before it? Yep. Yes. One. Which Golden Globe nominated, nominated actor starred in Friday the 13th? Johnny Depp? Oh. Kristen Glover? What? Mm, Kevin, Kevin Bacon? Bacon. It is one of the multiple choices, or well, it's Matt him. Dillon. It's Kevin Bacon. Is he in one of those? He's, He's in, in the, the first, first one. one. He's in the first, yeah. I didn't know that. I'm, Young Kevin I'm Bacon. I'm assuming this first movie, yeah. I thought that was just a pure joke that they were throwing Kevin Bacon's name around. No, no, no. That's why he's been in other answers. Yeah. Because it's like Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. I thought no, it was just a... it's, he was in the first one. Huh. Four. Who played Trish in Friday the 13th, part four, the final chapter? Aaron Gray, Amy Steele, Kimberly Beck, or Betsy Palmer? Now, um, wait. Yeah. What's the character's name again? T uh, uh, Trish. Trish. Okay. Does that help? It does, <laughs> because I think Betsy Palmer plays just Jason's mother, because I, I thought that Betsy Palmer was on Twin Peaks, and Jay said no. She was not on Twin Peaks. And uh, I don't know why I, could, I made that connection. And, and then I was like, oh, she looks like she would have been on Twin Peaks. <laughs> so I think I can rule out Betsy Palmer and Aaron Gray, and then give me those other two Amy names Amy Steele and Kimberly Beck. I don't think Kimberly Beck sounds so boring. I'm gonna go with Amy Steele. Yes, Kimberly Beck. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly Beck's the blonde in part four. Amy Steele's the blonde in part two. What was the name of the dog that went through the window in Friday the 13th part four? Oh, I know this. Oh, I know the this final one. chapter. Gordon. 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 Uh, uh, yes. Yes. I'm still not sure if Jason threw him out the window or if he jumped out the window to escape. It's very unclear. You're, He's getting you're... easy questions. <laughs> It's all decided by the dice, Three. Mike. I know. Gordon could be a tough question. That's I knew I think it. a lot of people wouldn't remember. Well, yeah, but I remembered it. Okay. Okay, Mike. Who played Ginny in Friday the 13th Part 2? Kimberly, Kimberly Beck's Black the, the blonde in Part 4. four. Amy, Amy Steele's, Steele's the blonde, blonde in Part, part two. 2. Uh, Adrian King, Amy Steele, Heather Langenkamp, or Aaron Gray? Wait, we could rule out Heather Langenkamp, because uh, she's not in these movies. She's in the Freddy's movies. <laughs> We can roll out Aaron Gray, and then uh, what are the other ones? Amy Steele. Oh, yeah. Adrian King. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to reverse it now and say, wait, what did I say? I said Amy Steele last time, right? Yes. And so I'm going to say, and I got that wrong. Yes. So now I'm going to say Amy Steele. It's Amy Steele, yes, Mike. I, I figured it out with my brain. <laughs> I mean, I, I said exactly that on the last question. This so. is, well, I, you know, yeah, the two blondes, but I, which, which blonde was which, and it's now all scrambled. <laughs> look, it's not all the brunettes that are in Jason X, where yes. they all look identical. Oh, God, don't ask those names. Who played the brunette in Jason X? <laughs> which one? With the 2000s two. haircut. In Jason X, what was the name of the ship where Jason was brought on board? Ooh. I'm assuming this is multiple choice. It is. Do you want to? Do you want the multiple choices? Yeah, I'll probably recognize it if I Wait, hear it. Wait, I forgot a rule. <laughs> do you remember last game when we did the 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 Freddy Krueger trivia? Uh huh. You took. You could take the option 
of of not taking oh, the multiple yeah. choice to get two to get points. two points. Ah, yes. We got to extend this game by another ten questions. All right. Well, I'm not, I'm going to have to take the multiple choice for this one though because I don't know. Okay. If I hear it, I'll probably remember. Does the it. committee agree? The committee agrees. Okay. After after Jay does this, we can start doing double things. You want to do ten more after that? Fuck it. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm we'll do this. we'll do ten more after the rules are out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Just I mean, like all the characters in Friday the 13th. The, the committee Four. concurs. Because <laughs> I want that rule. I need every advantage I can get to defeat Jay again. All right. All right. Your options are Space Transport 7, the Grendel, the Tiamat, or is it the Enterprise? <laughs> uh, it's the, the Grendel. The Grendel. It, it is the Grendel. You are correct, Jay. <laughs> Three. Uh, before starring in Friday the 13th, part nine, Jason Goes to Hell, Stephen Williams starred in which television series? And do you want to go for double points for not getting the multiple choice? I know you know what Aaron Gray starred on. Who the fuck is Stephen Williams? Son of a bitch, you remember me? I think I know this, but I might have to hear it. So yes, I'm gonna go. You want the multiple I choice. I want the multiple choice, yes. Night Court. The Rookies, Angel, or 21 Jump Street? 21 Jump Street. Correct. But you only get one point. I know. I know. You I only get, remembered the rule. You only get one point. I'm, I'm happy with the one point because I, I had to hear it because I knew it. Okay. One. Do you, it's multiple choice. Do you want the double points? We well, have to answer well, the, question know the question first. first. You, you, you get to hear the question first? Yes, I'll... that gives you the, the decision to make. It. Yeah, yeah. You got to right. know what it is before you decide if you need the multiple choice or not. Stupid. <laughs> Has he ever hosted one of these Friday the 13th trivia game yeah, shows if they, before? Yeah, if you think you know the answer and want to take the risk, that's when you get the okay. reward. Who defeated the villain at the end of Friday the 13th? Do you need multiple choice for that one? Um, I don't. That's the one character from all these movies I remember. Her name is Alice. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> gets, Jay gets two points for that. This is this is a good idea that you had to make yeah, double points. Yeah. Yeah. If not I didn't read that, that question first, like Jay might have <laughs> been like wary. Three. In Friday the Thirteenth, Part Six, Jason lives. Which counselor was Sheriff Garris's daughter? Mm. Do you want the multiple choice option? Yeah, I, I, I can't recall the name. Uh, Megan, Mildred, Margaret, or Mary? I, I want to say I remember him saying, Megan, Megan. <laughs> Megan. Correct. Three. In Friday the 13th, part six, Jason lives. What? What? Brought Jason back to life. Now, now, Jay, uh, would you like the double points <laughs> option on this question? You know what? I'm going to risk it without the multiple choice, and I'm going to say bolt. it's a lightning bolt. <laughs> Son of a bat. Oh, wow, it was a lightning bolt. Jay, that's... Boy, this double points is really working out <laughs> to up. my advantage. I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> what was the original title of Friday the 13th? Ooh. You don't know this, huh? Well, I might know it. I, I, it's like a something, uh, a, a something stalks in the woods, or there's a name like that. Uh, give me the, the, give me. Okay, Slaughter Lake, Camp Crystal Lake, Sleepaway Camp, no. or A Long Night at Camp Blood? That one. Okay. Which one is that one? Just Long Night at Camp Blood. Last okay. One. I was going to say it's a trick question. I thought it was always Friday the 13th. I knew it had something to do with like night and something. One. I've, I've heard that. And that's why I knew it. Okay. It wasn't a 25% chance guess. <laughs> I, I do recall something like that. Okay. It's, 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 it's a true or false, which I'm not going to count as the multiple choice. That's Thank fair. you. Yeah. During Friday the 13th, part two. It was revealed that Alice's body was found in a dumpster. True or false? False. It was never found. You are correct. Three. At the end of Friday the 13th, part six, Jason lives. What was visible at the bottom of the lake? That's, he's, he's, he ties him to the rock and it pulls him down. 
Visible is such a weird way to say it's it. It's a weird phrasing, but... I'm going to say Jason attached to a rock. Is that it? That's what I thought it was, but it says a Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake sign. I was going to say that! I wouldn't have guessed that. I, I just, remember I it. I it with just Jason floating there. It's this sign. Yeah, okay. It, they pan down, and it's like in the d dirt, like oh, half buried. okay. And that, I remember, and I didn't know... I should have oh, said that. Oh, that would make sense, because that's the one where they changed the name of the town, so it's like they were trying to bury Camp Crystal Lake. I remember okay. that, and... I, I would not have guessed that. I didn't know if it was that easy. <laughs> should have taken that fucking point. I would have guessed that. God mm. damn it. Uh, four. What part of Ginny's body was injured at the end of Friday the 13th, part two? It's either her arm or her leg. I'm not sure which. Get a multiple choice would narrow it down. I, I'm going to use the multiple choice. You're going to use the multiple choice. Okay. If uh, it's arm and leg or options, then I'm screwed. Uh, her her leg, her arm, no. her head, or her back. Her arm? Her leg. Damn it. All right, here we go. Okay. We're doing five more each. We're doing two more each. <laughs> Why, are you getting tired? <laughs> I, I, you said ten more, and I know the odds are a lot not looking you good for me. You wanted this setup specifically so that we wouldn't keep going until you could win. Four. Okay. In Friday the Thirteenth, Part Three, when Chris realized everyone around her was dead, who was the first victim she discovered? <laughs> Chili, Loco, Debbie, and Shelley. Loco. It's Loco. Oh, oh, we got one. I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> Clearly one of the bikers. Two. In Friday the 13th, part three, which person, presumed dead, showed up to rescue Chris when Jason was about to kill her? Who showed up to... Ooh. Yeah. Well, about time you get a hard one. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming it's multiple choice. It is. Do you okay. want the multiple choices? Yeah, give me the multiple choice. Rick, Chili, Shelly, or Fox? Chili. It's Rick. 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 Oh, really? It's Rick. He's the he's the the, the final guy. I guess. I just her. remember he gets his eyeball shot out of his face. Isn't that Rick? Three. In Friday the Thirteenth, Part Three, where did Debbie find Andy? Oh. Well, I don't know who Andy is. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the risk here and go the shower. That is not the answer here. It is hanging above her. Where was Jason contained after his first murder spree in Jason X? Oh, uh, the, the cryogenics lab place. Wrong. It says in a cryogenic stasis chamber. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, which I'm going to give you. I'm going to uh, give you. It's Camp Crystal Lake Research Facility. It, it, <laughs> the, the, the question wanted an answer that was a little bit more specific than but that. He's right but with the cryogenics. Right. Yeah. See how kind I am. <laughs> one, one, please. <laughs> yes, Mike, you're showing great mercy in losing. <laughs> how long till I catch up? <laughs> it's nice of you to pretend you don't know any of these answers so I can win for a change. True or false, Estelle Parsons was originally cast as Mrs. Voorhees in Friday the 13th. True. Correct. Correct. Yeah. How did you know that? I didn't. Oh, okay. Who phoned Alice at the beginning of Friday the 13th, part two? Her mom. Uh, her Correct. mother. Correct. That's bullshit. Give me one more. <laughs> Why'd you I, give, him, I, give, give him a five. I, you, 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 you are agreeing to this. Give him one more, okay. but make it a Jason's five. Jason's like, give a five. Okay, how many points do you want Mike to be able to get from this? But if he, <laughs> but, but if he gets it wrong, he loses that many points. Ooh, you choose. Ooh. Well, I don't agree to these terms. The council has decided. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I choose not to answer? Yes, you can choose not to answer. But does that count as a loss of those points? No, I, I won't, if you choose not to answer, I will not count that as a loss. All right, all right. I'm just going to say two. You're going to say two? Okay. Um, the number five question is, in Friday the 13th, part two, what did Jason do before he left Alice's home? Now, now, Jay gave you two points on this. That's with the multiple choice. I'll give you four if oh you my get God. this without the multiple choice. Oh, my God. 
Is it something with the fridge? He's in the kitchen? Right? Something like that. <laughs> Do you want the multiple choice? You, you can still get two points. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Killed her dog, shut off the lights, took out the trash, or took boiling water off the stove. She was making tea. Take boiling water off the stove. You get two points. Yes. Oh. yes. I remember that. I wouldn't I have got that without the multiple choice See, that's choice why either. I said fridge, because yeah. he did well, something in the kitchen. Originally, she opens the fridge and finds his mom's head in there. And then he stabs her in the head, which I thought that's where the scene ended. That would have been my guess. No, and then I think I think there's like a teapot. Yeah, it starts to it starts to whistle, and he takes it off. And so fridge, kitchen was in there. It's like, Mike, you have 17 points. Okay. Jay, you have 28. Okay. All right. Well, got to do it. That's where we're at. All yeah. All right. So now we have to so wager then, our bet for our final question. Here's 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 the format. I, I will explain it. Uh, um, Wait. We'll, after these messages, <laughs> don't you want to find out who wins? Well, if that's the way you feel, just forget it. But I think you're really out of line. And we're back. Rich, All right. why don't you explain the format? Okay, uh, uh, final, final Jeopardy style. You are going to wager your points, uh, and then I am going to roll the die, and I'm going to ask you whatever number question that is. Good, because this right. one doesn't work. I have rolled a three. Okay, well that's right in the middle there. That's good. Wait, how many points do I have? Uh, you have 17, Jay has 28. Okay, so we, we, we would vote, we would write down you a wager, wager first, and then I'm before gonna... the question. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and so based on the, the hardness of the question. So Definitely many... if I'm gonna give you multiple choice, you're wagering first. So I, I've gotta wager everything. You've both wagered? Yep. Okay. Um, in, oh, it was three? Okay. In Friday the 13th, part three, what did Jason use to kill Loco? A machete, a chain, a pitchfork, or a hammer? Okay. So you both written down an answer. We both written down an answer. Uh, can you reveal your answer? You, I guess we did well, the you, you do the person with the lowest score first. Okay, uh, Mike, that would be you. You ask how much I wagered. <laughs> okay, okay, Mike, how much did you wager? I wagered all of it. Oh, like you said you were going to, okay. Yes. Uh, what was your answer? My answer is, I'm pretty sure Jay got this right as well, but the answer is pitchfork. Correct. I Jay. also put pitchfork. How much did you wager, Jay? Nothing. All of it! No, it. Jay wins! Woo. Jay fucking wins, Mike! Finally! Finally, Jay has won trivia! God and Mike damn has it. been declared a loser! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know everything about the Friday the 13th franchise, <laughs> not, loser! Not just a loser, but THE loser! Yeah, yeah. Well, in my defense, I'd like to say I put up a pretty good fight and I got the final Jeopardy question right. Yeah. Well, I will be a gracious winner and say congratulations to oh, Jay. Thank you, I, thank I, you. I did not expect to win or even come close, and I think I did pretty good. I guess we'll see what happens in another five years when we do Freddy versus Jason trivia. <laughs> well, I guess uh, our next trivia show where I battle Jay will be Star Trek trivia. So um, you, you, you get a- we've, we've done that. We did do that. We did that already. Well, maybe we should do it again. I think what they really want to see is you versus me in Star Trek trivia. And that terrifies me. We've never done that? We've no, never done that. No, no. Well, we, we did the one me versus you as a joke, because obviously I wouldn't know yeah. anything. We, we could do a legitimate trivia me. one. We should do it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, let's do it. It's happening, everybody. Oh, my Lord, it's happening. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel for further updates. Our slow metamorphosis into a game show channel. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we do whatever we want. Whatever strikes our fancy. It's great. Ah.